Okay, I want to work number 37 from 7.4 um, just to show y'all what happens if you end up with secant or cosecant or cotangent and also what happens when you take the square root of something. So if I'm going to solve for secant of theta here, the first thing I'm going to do is add 4 to both sides. So I've got 3 times the secant squared of theta equals 4. Then I'm going to divide both sides by 3, so I get secant squared of theta equals 4 over 3. Alright, now I want secant by itself, so I'm going to take the square root of both sides. And remember that when you take the square root of both sides in an equation, so that's going to give me secant of theta. On the other side, I'm going to get the positive and the negative values of the square root of 4 over 3. Now I can clean that up. We know the square root of 4 is 2, and so I've got the square root of 3 on the bottom that doesn't simplify. Now, if I'm looking at this, I'm thinking secant of theta. You don't even have that button on your calculator. But you know that the secant of theta, its reciprocal is cosine. So if I'm looking at this, I'm thinking, well, the cosine of theta is going to be the reciprocal of that. So that's going to be the positive or negative, And then I'm just going to take the reciprocal of that, which is the square root of 3 over 2. Now, you should recognize this. You know if I'm looking for the angles of cosine that equal the square root of 3 over 2. Well, you know that's 30 degrees or pi over 6, all right? But the problem is I've got to find all solutions. Well, if you think about that, so let's break this down. If this were just the cosine of theta of the positive square root of 3 over 2, well, I would take pi over 6, and then I would also take the angle out of the fourth quadrant because cosine is positive in the fourth quadrant. So I would do... 360 minus 30 or 330 degrees would be another answer. All right, if this were just cosine of the negative, then my angles would come out of quadrants two and three because cosine is negative in quadrants two and three. But this particular problem, since I took the square root, it's asking for all four quadrants. So I can find an angle in each quadrant. Now, if you want to do 30 degrees, plus 360 times K or N or whatever you use. I think the book always uses K. Or we could do, if we're doing radians, and that's pi over 6 plus 2 pi times K. We could do that. What is the angle coming out of the second quadrant? Well, the angle coming out of the second quadrant is 180 minus 30 or 150 degrees. Or we would say 5 pi over 6 plus 2 pi k. All right, then let's think, um, and so I'm going to do 150 degrees plus 360 k, or in radians. All right, in the third quadrant, I would get 180 plus 30, which is 210 degrees plus 360 k. And in the fourth quadrant, I would get 330 degrees plus 360 Okay, all right, now if I were writing this in radians, that would be 7 pi over 6 plus 2 pi k. And this one would be 11 pi over 6 plus 2 pi k. Now, if you're wondering how the answers, they, they are only going to give you two answers because they're going to simplify this. And you got to think about that in the quadrants. All right, so we've got 30 degrees over here say it's about right there. Well, the 210 degrees is right there. So what they're going to do is they're going to take these two answers and they're going to clean it up or simplify it and just say, well, we could write this as 30 degrees plus 180k or pi over 6 plus pi k because that's going to take care of two of the answers right there. And then the same thing with the 150 and the 330. I could take care of both of those answers just by using the um, 5 pi over 6 plus pi k. So you can write it either way.